Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in Re Legend, I'm watering my crops as usual, and I think these crops over here are actually done, so that's pretty good. And you may be able to tell I got rid of some of the weeds. Yeah, these crops are done, so I'll have to check these out. Of course, I should probably pick one uh, before watering them, but oh well. I don't know if these are per if these are regrow or not. But anyway, today in uh, Re Legend, I wanted I guess I wanted to make some money <laughs> because I want to upgrade Lloyd's house. Um, like I've been saying for a little while now. So I was thinking I'd go and just do some fishing and try to make some money that way. Oh, these are done too. That's good. And, uh, see if, you know, I can get enough. Because, uh, it's actually kind of time-consuming to do that. Let's see. Oh, good, these regrow. Haha. -ha. Prunates regrow. So, that's good. I can just keep picking these all winter long. So, technically, it's a pretty good source of income, then. I haven't actually calculated the prices or anything. But, uh, still, it's good to have a constant source of income, uh, rather than, you know, having to grow more. So just get these picked here. And then we'll check the, uh, broccolin over here, I think is what it's called. Because these are done, too. Ah, uh, those don't, yeah. Sadly, those don't regrow. So I don't know if I'll grow more of those or not. That one's not done, that one's not done. These must have been some ones I, yeah, I got. I must have not have got them watered on the first day. Oh, that one was done? Sure didn't look it. Because, yeah, the first the first day I did a lot of planting, uh, <laughs> I, I hit the end of the day as I was watering these. So, yeah, that's what happened with that. You should check that video out. It's rather interesting. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, okay. So I got just those few left. Okay, uh, head over to my water crops. And I believe my... Actually, I'll feed my fishies first. There we go. Um, I think my, uh, what were they? As Asperitus? Just hold that. Yeah, I got a vat tail here because I was doing some fishing already to try and start earning a little bit of money. But yeah, I got, uh, I think my Asperitus is done, uh, at least being fertilized because I can't fertilize it anymore. Okay, what about these? Okay, none of these are done. Those aren't done. These aren't done, and those aren't done. Okay, so that's all I needed. So, take my vat tail out. Draw that. There we go. Okay, get over here. Feed my large fishies. I'm still using my old feed because, well, I have, I have it. <laughs> So, yeah, when, I, when that's gone, maybe I'll try to use the new feed, although it is somewhat expensive. Okay, let's see how much these uh, sell for. If I have, I think I have 30K right now, right? Yeah, I have 31K. So, let's see. Um, Furnates sell for 60G, and broccolin sell for 220. Although I feel like I should keep broccoli, just in case. But I don't know, there, maybe there isn't any other uh, Magnus that drops that, I mean, that uses that to evolve, I'm not sure. I will put these in here though, I don't really need these. Um, leave at that. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll save these for the moment. If I was to put those in there, that's another 2k, 
And those, that's, wow, that's a nice 7K. That's pretty good. But they're only one time grow, so I think I'll have to keep them just in case. So let me put them in storage here. And then I guess I'll see what I can go buy from, um, from Lo not Lloyd, Len. And I've got, like, no space left. Uh, let's see here. What can I substitute? Put this over here. Put these here. I probably won't need these before I even use them. Most likely 1.0 will be re released. <laughs> I have no idea. And put this in here. Put these there. There we go. And then I don't need my coliflorin on me. Okay. And then I guess I can just put these here. For now, my storage is getting really disorganized again. Okay. Now, I'm going to go see if how many of the SeaWorld logs I can buy from Len. It's already 6 p.m. Len, Len is probably not even there. Let's see if I can get over there before he walks out the door. I wonder if he'll be there. Let's see. Otherwise, I'll have to catch him the next day. You here, Len? Anybody home? Yes, he's here. Okay. Okay, so... I think I needed another 50 Sea World logs. So let's just get this up to 50. I should be able to afford it. There we go. Yeah, it'll take pretty much everything I have. But I'm gonna go do some fishing and hopefully I'll make up the 20K. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just gonna I guess head to the sunken Velfer and I'll do some fishing there because that's the best place to find large fish. I mean, I know you, I know there's a place on uh, the uh, Volca coast here that you can find large fish as well. Um, let's see. Uh, it's not here. It's out on, out on the world map, but um, I think it's, what is it? Pincer patch. I think that's where it is. Okay, let's... Uh, might as well refill my stam here quickly. Okay. Uh, I should put those in storage. That way I'll have the most amount of space I can to get fish. So, um, where did I put those? There we go. Now I have one left. There. Okay, that filled up my storage. Head out. Now I'll just uh, surf on my vet, uh, vat tail here. And get over to the sunken velfer. So, hold, throw it in the water. Now this vat tail uh, and the Gruco there, Rabbit Ray, even that Grop right there that I just passed, uh, and the Voca Shark, all of those can be um, fished up on the Voca, uh, I, on <laughs> Sunken Zavalfer here. This is the Sunken Valfer. It's just right over to the right of the Voca Coast. So you come up here and just start fishing. Yeah. Fish while you're waiting for the uh, time to just pass. <laughs> Actually, no, time doesn't pass while you're fishing. So, yeah, you're just fishing up money. That's what you're really doing. But now you could say, well, I could go and uh, sell these fish uh, for money because uh, let's see here, like the Gannis is 850, sells for 850. But if you uh, right-click on it and pick prep, 
this is only really worth 75, but if you cook it, uh, they are worth 740. So basically this allows you to stack up uh, a whole bunch of them and you can just stand here fishing for a quite a while and amass uh, a large amount of money just to, yeah, to make a lot at once. <laughs> so that's the current way to make a large amount of money here. It wouldn't surprise me if they change it after uh, maybe even this new patch that's coming out at the end of November. I don't know. No, I, I lost that one. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Okay. But yeah, um, so, it, but at least by the 1.0 patch, they will probably change that. And this probably won't work anymore. But we'll see. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the same. Never know. There we go. So, yeah, you can catch Vat Tail. You can catch Rabbit Rays, um, Gannis, uh, Grops, and... Um, Volca sharks here. So it's pretty good. And Grucos. Those as well. So I guess I'll just be doing some fishing here and see how much I can amass in the time I have in real life. <laughs> okay. I figured I I really only had time here to get about what I got now. So I got about 32 of them. So I'm going to head back to my house and uh, in the sunken velfer you kind of have to come and stop about here maybe. Take out your fish, which I'm taking out my vat tail. There we go. Get on my vat tail that's trying to swim away and leave. There we go. Head back to my farm. And then uh, basically cook these up and throw them in the bin. Just get off. I might as well take my vat tail back out because I might as well use it from now on. For now, at least. Vat tail is kind of a cool fish. Looks kind of cool. Okay, so basically then what you'd do is you'd come in here and take uh, your spoils with you. <laughs> Go to the this large one right here and just uh, cook up all of them. And just wait a second. There we go. And there we go. I got all 32 of them. And they sell for 740. So, and they're not, I mean, they restore 50% stamina. Eh, they can be kind of useful, but you know, you've got a hot spring, so you can just go sit in the hot spring. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. So uh, get over here and just throw them in here. And that is gonna give me 24K. So not bad. Uh, so I should have about uh, 27k or so um, after uh, um, he comes in the morning to take my f stuff. So yeah, that, that'll that be pretty good. I should be able to uh, start um, upgrading Lloyd's house. So yeah. Um, now, let's see. I wonder if Karen is going to be there in the morning. Hopefully she is, she will be. Let's get over here. I'll just see if she's here at all. She probably isn't. I mean, uh, why would she be here at 10 o'clock at night? I'll have to remember to take all the items with me. Nope, she's not here. That's what I thought. But I got everything required. Of course, I didn't actually bring it with me. I should have brought it with me. If she was here, I could have started the upgrade. That would have been intelligent. But I guess uh, I'll head back out here um, 
and I guess I could use to get, uh, what? Some more ore or something? Did I water my tree? Yeah, I watered my tree. Okay. Let's just, uh, see what items I, need, I have here and need. So, I could use some new, more logs, too. Uh, I wonder what it's going to take to upgrade some of the other houses. Oh, I need silver ore. I don't have any silver ore. I have ingot, but no ore. So I guess I could just go get some silver ore quick while I'm uh, waiting for morning. <laughs> so head out here. I have my uh, Drake Ogre with me, so that's good. Just get over here. Go to the uh, woods maze, because that's closest to some silver right now. And get on Drogue. Head out here. And there's some silver up here in the pasturing area. So just going over here. By where the witch's house was right here. And I could probably use some of these logs too. So go in here and get the silver ore. And you get one. <laughs> no, I got two. Uh, just two. Eh, not fair. I could have used three. Now, um, there's some other silver ore. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's any, there's any down. I think that's iron ore. Let's, I'll head out here and get the silver ore this way. So I'll head over here, cross the mushrooms. Over here and through here. And then there's some silver ore up here. I might as well get the copper while I'm at it because, yeah, I mean, why not? There we go. But I'm probably going to have to get back. It's getting late. Get down here. I wonder if I could make it all the way over to the Nurlik cave. I probably can't. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. I'd end up fainting. And I don't really want to lose that 10%. So, yeah, it might be better if I don't go into the Nurlik cave and instead just maybe head back, head to sleep so I can get Lloyd's house upgrading. Just get back over here to the teleporter. Out here. Because then, uh, hopefully, hopefully, if I can get Lloyd's house upgraded to level 3, which uh, will take still quite a while here, um, maybe I can get him to sell Mithril Ore. Because I, I got a comment on one of my videos saying that he sells Mithril Ore at level 3 house. So, yeah, it's something I'm interested in checking out. Because if I can get him to sell Mithra Ore, well, then that's uh, pretty good. I mean, that's that, that would be the only way to get Mithra Ore in here right now. Before 1.0. I don't know what they're going to do with this new patch, though, after... Uh, I mean, at the end of November. Save. Head to sleep. Oh, I guess I should have pulled out all the stuff I need to upgrade his house. So I'll just, I'll pull that out quick. Um, okay, I need stones. 
I need the Sea World logs. Um, the other portion must be on the second page. Where is the rest of my Sea World logs? Did I miss them? I put them somewhere. Oh, they're right up here. There we go. Okay. That's 100 Sea World logs. 15 iron ingot, 15 silver ingot, and 50 stones. Okay, let's get over to uh, Lloyd's house after uh, Gunther comes because, uh, yeah, he's got to give me my money. Let's see, do I have do I have money? Do I have enough money? No, I, he hasn't given me my money yet. So, yeah, I might as well water my plants, I guess, because, yeah, Gunther's not here. Did I forget to water my tree on the previous day? I think I did. Let's get these watered. Gunther sure takes his time. Of course, he probably doesn't come here till 8 o'clock, I think. I'm gonna run out of water. get this water. There we go. Why do I need to water my plants when it's snowing? I mean, you'd think the snow would water the plants for you. What? Ah, uh, nuts. I'm stuck. Uh, okay, well, I'll have to... Let's see if I can... Can I... Nope. Can't do anything. So, yeah. I'll have to reload here and then be back. <laughs> okay. Um, finally back. Glad I didn't get stuck again. <laughs> eh. Just thought I'd get most of these watered again. Thankfully, the autosave, yeah, um, really helps, I guess, in that sense. I... I would prefer to be able to turn the autosave off, though. Because uh, sometimes it can cause... It just causes me grief. Like if I want to test something and... Uh, you know, I don't want, don't want to actually save. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see here. Okay, I've got 26k. So, um, yeah, I'll head out... To... Uh, Karen's house. Hopefully she's there. If not, I'll have to start upgrading it on the next episode. <laughs> but sometimes that, that, uh, watering can bug can just happen randomly. Hopefully they have it fixed. Ah, nuts. Karen's not here now. Karen. Let's see, uh, what day is today? It's a Sunday. It wouldn't surprise me if Karen isn't working. Okay, well, I guess uh, this episode was pretty much uh, fishing for money <laughs> uh, and basically prep uh, to upgrade Lloyd's house. I'll have to probably start it next time because um, yeah, Karen's not there. I'm thinking Karen isn't there on Sundays, but uh, I'm not exactly sure where she is. I don't even see her in the square here. But yeah, it's it's not easy to predict where the NPCs are all the time because they're not. I mean, I don't I don't know their actual timing. Sometimes uh, they're in different places. Sometimes they're not at home and you don't even know where they are. And that, that blip, I'm still not sure what he's doing there. He's pretty much just been there kind of mysteriously. Okay, Amelia's over here. Apparently she likes to be in the training area. And apparently on Sunday she'll open her shop over here at the training area. Okay. Well, that's kind of useful. 
Um, let's see if I can find Karen at all. It wouldn't surprise me if she's not hanging around. I'll head over to the beach. How about, yeah, let's check the beach. Why is Gunther walking back and forth in circles? <laughs> Just head over here. See if Karen's out here. At least it shows the characters on the mini-map. Okay, so she's not here. You can check the angler area. Nothing here. Go back into the trader area. And I can check the cafeteria, but I don't... Hey, what's this? An event? Or something? I haven't ever got this before. Huh. That's interesting. So, Emily is saying, Hey, Zykor, I was hoping I would see you today. Okay. I made something again to make up for what happened last time. Okay, so how long has it been that I needed to activate this event? But this time I tasted it beforehand, so nothing bad will happen. Uh, I wonder. Please have some. I promise I used the right ingredients this time. Uh, hopefully. At least I think so. Uh -huh. Ye you trust me, right, Zycor? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> After all the, your, uh, your bribes that you take to open your shop, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll, I'll just nod and pick up a piece. Uh, you know, be the nice guy I am. Yay, well, how does it taste? It seems like it's acceptable. Oh, you're pretty brave, Zycor. One time I couldn't stop going to the toilet the whole day because I ate some something Amelia made. <laughs> eh, that must have been pretty bad. Wait, she took it? <laughs> hey, Zykor, I actually wanted to talk to you about something, if you don't mind. Okay, what is that? You remember that time you rescued me from those Magnus? Yeah? You know, before this was... Uh, this, it was always Gunther who had to save me from danger, especially when I was younger. Wait, you've been saved from danger that many times in your past? And it's been Gunther every time? <laughs> but Gunther is getting too old to be doing that for me, and you won't always be around the village. Wait, what? Yeah, I will. And Edna's always telling me that I need to get better at standing on my own two feet. Well, that's probably true. So, what? What I'm trying to say is, do you think you could teach me how to fight, Zygor? Well, I, I guess. Or at least to defend myself. Yeah, I mean, that's a good good knowledge to have. Ah, I promise I won't get in your way too much. Okay, I'll learn how to do the basics on my own and won't bother you. I promise. But the first thing I need is a weapon. But what kind of weapon do you think it will suit me, Zygor? Hmm. A two-handed sword... You know, I don't see Amelia as having a two-handed sword. Probably either a staff or a bow. But... I'm thinking... Amelia looks like the type of girl to have a staff, is what I think. Just kind of feels that way. So, yeah, I'll just go staff. I have no idea how to... I mean, I've, I've never used a staff myself, so... <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I don't think I have the talent for magic. It's true. One time we wanted to light a bonfire in the village for fun. When Amelia tried it with a staff, she ended up pulling a muscle from straining so hard. Good times. <laughs> uh, okay, so what about a bow? A bow? I never tried using one before, but at least it's something I can use from a distance. Yeah, that, okay. So I was supposed to answer bow? Okay, let's try that. Okay, yeah, a bow. Just don't use me as target practice, okay? Zykor, <laughs> uh, do you have an extra bow you can give me? Uh, not really. I have my expensive bow. If you do, do you think you could let me have it? 
Uh, I guess I can let you have my expensive bow. I can make another one. I'll buy it off you with this. Well, what are you going to buy? Ah, it's not much, though. Business has been slow. So I totally understand if you only give me a really old or used bow. When you have it, you can pass it to me anytime you see me, okay? Okay. Well, uh, that's interesting. That was a whole cutscene. That must be for uh, upgrading her house. That's what I'd say. Uh, and there's Modi's brother. I was looking for Karen. Karen, are you over here? You in the cafeteria at all? Uh, no, nobody's here. Where's Modi? <laughs> Okay, well, um, I should go give Amelia that bow, but uh, maybe I can just do that next time. She said I can give it to her anytime I see her. So, uh, let, I'll go check to see if Karen is there one quick time here before I end it off. But otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Actually, Magenta's here. Let's see what she's got. I think she's got usually the same stuff, but... Let's see. Shop. Yeah, she always has the same stuff. Uh, you know what? Nah, I need the money. I can always just make a make a bow for her. Or just make another one for myself. I don't really use it. But, yeah. That's it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And it really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe that bell icon leave a comment and of course share it karen's here yes i can upgrade okay um let's see upgrade the miner's hut Twenty thousand. bye there we go haha -ha. i was able to do it right as i end off so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Upgrading the miner's hut would be pretty useful. <laughs>